Hey, what's up? It's me. I'm back. I said I was gonna be back soon, but you didn't think it was gonna be this soon, did you? Anyway, we're back and uh, I have something really fun for you today. We're gonna be working out at home, but before you click out of this video, hear me out. It's not your typical sit-ups and stuff like that. It's actually something really fun. So I'm gonna teach you what you can do at your house to not get bored and do the same bloody push-ups every day or things like that. You can actually use your house and tables and weights and stuff like that uh, to your advantage. So little do you know, but you actually have a freaking gym in your house and I'm gonna show you how. So number one, if you have a girlfriend, use her. Let's go see what she's doing. Ah! <laughs> okay, now that you have your girlfriend, we're gonna do squats. Oh, but Will, what if I don't have a girlfriend? That's fine, you can use anything around your house like this. Put me down! <laughs> okay, no, but for real, I'm actually gonna show you alternative exercises you can do at home to replace what you would normally do in the gym, okay? So for example, the bench press. Okay, so right now I'm doing bench, but if you look closely, I'm pushing the weight away from me. So why wouldn't this work as a push-up? Pushing myself away from the ground. So this is a push-up. This is an easy version of a push-up. So if you just drop your knees and do push-ups, it takes about half the weight off. Then you have wide stance push-ups, okay? So these are mostly done for chest, close grip push-ups, which are done for triceps. And if that's too easy, you can actually even do weighted push-ups. And don't obviously just try and put someone on your back straight away. Work up the weight gradually so you can even put a backpack and then fill that up with clothes or I don't know, things that are a bit heavier until you get the number of reps you want. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is a lunge. But you know what? If you want to make it a bit harder, you can actually shift your weight forward onto that front leg and go all the way down until your back knee touches the ground. If that's too easy, grab a chair like this and really, really go all the way down. And that, trust me, will get your legs burning after about 15 reps. Okay, the shoulder press. Now, using your two hands, put them close to your head, okay? Now, bending your elbows, you need to get a 90 degree bend. This is a beginner pose. This is an intermediate pose, okay? So putting more and more weight on your front shoulders. And if that's too easy, go all the way. And that'll really start burning after a few reps once again. Next is triceps. So get someone like my really angry girlfriend right now and uh, yeah, just do this. Make sure she's resisting, okay? So pulling back every time to put more weight on your arms. Next is back. By using this simple grip, straight back, bent knees, simply pull towards you. Hey, you can even use the same grip for arms. Now that we have all our little workouts, let's put them all together and make one full body workout, okay? So first is legs. So I've decided to do squats with a weight on my shoulders and straight away a superset with those hard lunges we had a look at. After that, I'm going to be doing wide stance push-ups with a close grip push-up and then straight into the shoulder press we talked about.
Get crafty, think outside the box, use a table like this to do back rows, okay? And once you've done your back rows, repeat this circuit five to six times, depending on your physical capability, to have your daily workout. Cool, and there we go, there you have it. So I hope that helped. Those little exercises are actually exercises that would replicate things like the bench press and stuff like that. So I hope you took something out of it and I hope you liked the video. And if you did, I'll see you tomorrow. Why? Because I'm actually gonna try and vlog for the next six months straight. So if you like what you see, that's right. I'll see you tomorrow, bye.